We are here at Disney Springs today. We are with our friends Scott and Caitlin. We've got dinner reservations for Morimoto Asia, so I've never been there. I'm excited. Have you been there? Yes. Okay, so we're excited. It's fabulous. We're gonna check it out, do some shopping, see what all's up at Disney Springs. It's a Saturday, so it's a little more crowded than it was last time we're here, but it's still not usual crowd level, so we're gonna make it work. All right, we're gonna go to World of Disney and see if we can find some of their face masks that they have. Okay, so masks are not at World of Disney. They are over by the PhotoPass studio. So that's where we're headed next. <laughs> All right, so these are the options. It's a very long line. All right, we are now going into Marketplace Co-op. All these mugs that have letters and then their theme. So like E for Aaron, the Enchanted Tiki Room. They have little trinket cases as well. Love a good Disney dish towel. So again, 2020 merchandise. Buy one, get one free. It's a pretty good deal. Yeah. Morimoto Asia. They have the menu. The menu. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then you can scan your QR code so you have it on your phone. Chandeliers, y'all. So pretty in here. How many pieces? Four pieces. Yeah. Two and two. Spicy tuna roll. Is there spicy tuna? That's gone. No. Oh. <laughs> what was These that? were dumplings. <laughs> These were dumplings. <laughs> Spider. Spider. Spider roll. roll. Yeah. I didn't know it was going to come with a show. Before Moto did actually create this dish, and I took Japan and made it in the world. Wow. When a computer is against a group of Japanese chefs called the Ota Factory, we learn a hamachi challenge or a yellow challenge. This is one of the ways you can create the yellow challenge. Beautiful. In the same way, it brings up things to use Chef Morimoto to the same thing for the judges. Duck ramen. Duck ramen. I got the fried rice without shrimp. And then you got the fried rice with shrimp. Right? You got everything? Maybe. Wait, did you get the go mocha? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so we got you the same thing. Know? This she is the gluten, gluten free version. So this is oh. gluten free. This is not gluten free. This is freaking rocking. This also has shrimp. It does not have shrimp. Yeah. Our waiter just brought me out some gluten free soy sauce. So they have gluten free soy sauce. That's exciting. All right, so my meal was okay. Caitlin got the same thing, and she said that hers was a lot better than mine. She tried some of mine. Since it was gluten-free, it didn't have as much as the sauce or any of the spice, so it was okay. I don't think it was worth the money for the fried rice, because I could probably get something like that somewhere else for cheaper. But how was yours? It was a lot of good flavors. I It was just, oh, I don't even know the words to explain it, because it was just so good. Um, a lot of good portions. I have enough to take home as well. Is it spicy? Um, it, on the spice level, I'd give it a good four. Um, it wasn't the spiciest thing I've had. Um, it's what you expect from a Chinese uh, typical place uh, dish. So, but it was top notch. 
right, and what'd you get? Was it good? Uh, I got the duck ramen and it was excellent. Um, I would say the cilantro in it was kind of weird just cause that flavor didn't really mix with all the Japanese and Chinese flavors. But once I took that out, um, duck ramen was fantastic. The spicy tuna roll, the sushi, um, absolutely wonderful. This tuna in it was very buttery. Um, it was awesome. I <laughs> highly recommend. Worth the price. The Actually, the duck ramen, it was only $19. It was like one of the cheapest things. And it it was honestly that I would say it was, I'd pay more for it. It was really good. Um, I think my sushi roll was 18 but for a high grade tuna like that, that's about what to be expected, especially with the Disney tax opposed on it. So, all right, Scott. All right, so I had the yellowtail snapper bowl. I can't remember the Japanese name for it. It was about $32, but I, I have to say that was completely worth it. The fish is cooked table side in the 400 degree bowl. <laughs> it comes with a complete show. I uh, was not expecting that when I ordered, but that they explained everything from the Japanese version of Iron Chef and how he made it and they made that the same way table side so if you're looking for something a little fun to do on your Disney trip I would definitely recommend getting that just because you get kind of a little table side show and the explanation and the history of it so I would definitely do that again be careful though he kept burning his hand on the bowl <laughs> yes I did and his chops and his chops <laughs> so, but yeah but overall it was awesome Oh my god. It's 2020 sock. Like formulas. Yeah. It's like soccer. Oh, they're not riding a whale or something. All you need is love and a dog. Look at the haze. All the Saharan <laughs> dust. It feels pretty good out here right now, though. And like the crowd levels have kind of gone down. Maybe we're just in a less crowded area. Disney style. Muppets things. Look at the lanterns in here. <laughs> Oh, there's the Coral Spirit jersey. Yeah, too. All the feels. It's a cool shirt. Let's go in Star Wars. You gotta wait. They're counting people at the door. None of the make your own lightsaber is open. Candy cauldron. They all have. You know what? That was not fun. Thanks a lot. No, that was fun. New M and M store. So we stopped over here by House of Blues, okay, Cirque du Soleil. There's a lot of benches. Had to close because of Florida's new alcohol rules. Can't serve alcohol in a restaurant that has more than 50% of its sales is alcohol. Aaron McKenna's is open. They have a sign that says wear a mask, but here's all of their offering. Everything is gluten free, dairy free, egg free, soy free, and certified kosher. Gonna get some Dole Whip. Alright, gotta get our Dole Whip swirl. Super excited, it's been a while since I've had Dole Whip, so. It's good. You didn't even use a spoon. video about me about collectible pennies it looks like the normal one 
but it's got the credit card and it costs a dollar. So Uniqlo closed again. It was open for a little bit and then with Florida Spike, it closed. Crowd levels, definitely more crowded than it was on a weekday. But this is Saturday evening. So crowd levels are definitely higher. So we are home now. It got really crowded really quickly, so we decided to call it a day and head home. We had a really fun time seeing our friends. We enjoyed Moyamoto Asia. I think if the menu hadn't been so limited, I know it's limited right now because of everything that's going on with COVID-19, so I'll definitely be giving it another try to see if they have more gluten-free options for their full menu. Be looking for my review on Thursday um, of my experience today. Everybody else enjoyed their food a lot. I'm not a huge sushi fan, so I know if I was, I probably would have more options there as well. So that's partially just my picky eating. I was really impressed. I heard a lot of Disney cast members telling people to pull their mask up over their nose and make sure they were wearing a mask correctly. So shout out to Disney for that. It was really fun to shop some more and see a lot of Disney merch. Caitlin actually bought me these coral ears as a late birthday present, so thank you so much for that, Caitlin. She's the one that got me started with Disney, y'all, that I was talking about in my other video. So, shout out to her for all of this, honestly. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, wear your mask, wash your hands, be safe, and we'll see you later.